Hi, my name is Alexis Garriott and it is the year 2013. Facebook and Twitter are the social powerhouses of the web and a site called Pinterest has secured a spot as the third most popular social network in the United States. In only six short months, Pinterest went from practically unknown to being the new social network that users and marketers alike were trying to put a label on. Is it a bulletin board? Not exactly. A photo repository? Not quite. It is a living, breathing life exhibit that allows users to curate their passions, wants, and desires while connecting with others who share similar interests. Pinterest's uses may not fit into one category, but one thing is for certain. Users were three times more likely to buy something they have seen on Pinterest as opposed to something seen on Facebook and Twitter. This sets Pinterest apart in the social web space. Pinterest's current revenue is collected via investors, not advertising. By partnering with brands like Billabong, Affliction, and Ed Hardy, Pinterest can expand its reach onto the web while increasing brand awareness as well as profit. The site's users are primarily 24 to 36 year old females, resulting in many pins of wedding dresses, DIY projects, and makeup tutorials. A site like Pinterest depends on fresh, dynamic content, and the Pinterest campaign project aims to do just that by attracting the 24 to 36 year old male demographic. This approach will inject new imagery, ideas, and videos into the mix, increasing the diversity and activity on the site. The existing color scheme of Pinterest has been perceived as feminine. The content displayed on the front page of the site reiterates this notion and is one of several reasons why men may not use the site. The media coverage Pinterest has received has reiterated this message, further discouraging potential male users. Up to this point in Pinterest's life cycle, its promotion has primarily been through word of mouth. In order to target the male demographic, Pinterest needs to shift the conversation into a new direction. A revised color palette as well as reimagined logo are a crucial part of the rebranding campaign. The blue and green colors evoke a more casual feeling for the web portal. A strong, bold font, League Gothic, was chosen for the Pinterest logo, while the accompanying body text was chosen as Helvetica Nuo. The first strategy is to target the 24 to 36 year old male demographic with print advertising in magazines like Maxim, Men's Health, and GQ. The text is short, catchy, and memorable. Find it, pin it, collect it, share it, with a Pinterest logo at the bottom of the page. Television advertisements during sporting events will target the masculine audience with an amusing contrast between buying an inappropriate gift with using Pinterest to find the perfect present. The web and mobile applications are the most important portions of the media campaign. As Pinterest is an online-only website rather than a brick-and-mortar store or restaurant, an engaging online experience is crucial. Being able to take Pinterest on the go via mobile applications for tablets and smartphones allows for even more diversity in the user-curated web space. The Facebook and Twitter designs replicate the web and mobile user experiences by showing a variety of pins as well as a prominent image of the logo. My passion for the Pinterest campaign project is truly boundless. I see the potential for Pinterest to be used not just as a shopping app, or a bookmarking app, or even a social app, but as so much more. Extending the demographic to include 24 to 36 year old males can lead to new, exciting ways to use the site that haven't even been thought of yet. This is the essence of Pinterest, a living, breathing life exhibit on the web.